make sure everything is operational. Or rather, working as intended. Beep boop. Alright, visually looks fine. Alright, visually looks fine. Sounds fine as well, so hello, hello people of the internet. It is I, Solar Act Dragon here, back with more Fate Grand Order, where today we are going to literally resume right where we left off yesterday when, well, Reflector crashed. So yeah, we're going to continue with the summer event. Um, I should probably change the stream title to Summer Resumes. Yeah, that works. There we go. But yeah, we can. We now have... We're going to be resuming from where we left off, which is on the second wave of the final arrow of Section 1, I believe. So... Yeah, that's how we'll do it. I have no idea if it is going to make a difference or not, but I do have a new computer monitor, and I'm not sure if that's going to translate to a higher resolution um, video for all of you watching this or not. Still don't have the perfect sizing for that, but it's something I'm working on. Uh, yeah, that'll be that should be fine. This is not that hard. Let's see what. Let's see what her NP is. Lady Avalon, what is your NP look like? Winds of Avalon. Hey there, thank you for taking part in the Wind Avalon Wind Experience Tour. Please commit it to memory. Just enough so that you don't forget to wake up. Are you only going to look at my face? So whereas Merlin's Avalon is sort of coming out of the ground, Lady Avalon, or female Merlin's, seems to be coming from the sky. Interesting. There might be some symbolism there, but I don't know what it is. There we go. That was easy enough. Again, though, this is still the first section of this whole place, so it's not terribly surprising that we're not having any dish issues issues yeah. but yeah so because this is only a continuation I'm not gonna be going too deep I might make it through like day three or four so I will it kind of depends on how much um, apples I might need to use I guess cuz yeah getting cut off yesterday really did kind of screw me a little bit I'm sorry little flowers I'm so sorry I promise I'll plant you again somewhere once I've turned you back into bulbs goodbye at least she's apologizing. Are you sure these flowers will bloom? Ah, uh, yeah, they should, I think. Let me guess, they're vampiric flowers that can only bloom by sucking blood from animals, right? Now that you mention it, they might be. Damn, seriously, I was only half serious. Well, damn, I didn't know you could turn them back into bulbs. Guess all the hard work was for nothing. What do you guys want to do now? It's a shame we never got the flowers to bloom, but there's no sense wringing our hands over it. I don't see any reason to keep going now that our client's forced to stop. I have to agree. But we're still not leaving without our pay, got it? I know, don't worry, you'll all get the, you'll all get the QP I promised. Sorry about all this. I have to apologize to you too, Caldeans. Sorry for the, all the trouble, and thanks for all your help. So do we mean, does this mean we pass? I think so, that should take care of the problem here in this area. Why not take a look around and see? Sounds good to me. Shall we get a bird's eye view of things while we're at it? Sure, why not? Yeah, why not? You two and Yan Jin can go up for a bird's eye view, whereas Ortland and I will hang out here. Flower Park, a beautiful garden filled with ice, mythical, and real actual flowers. So without anything dangerous to get in the way, Again, the polar bears. And the not penguins. Wow. We did it, everyone. All the customers are coming back. And they're flocking to the food stands, too. This is great, Master. Um, this will definitely ought to do it, right? Oh, yes, absolutely. Thank you all so much. I see. So you managed to reach the sales quota. That's good to hear. And for the rest of today, I want you to get plenty of rest. Noted. Well done, all of you. 
I'm glad to see things are going well so far, much as I'd love to keep this momentum and head right to the next area. It's getting a little bit late for that. Hmm. I don't have much luck navigating by the star, so it's probably best we avoid traveling after dark. Why don't we stay docked here for the night, then set off for the next area first thing in the morning? I think that's a great idea. Dr. Asclepius is right, Master. You definitely need rest. Mm-hmm. I agree too, Senpai. Turning in early seems like a very good idea today. I don't feel like a kid getting sent to bed. Well, we did walk quite a ways today, Master. You're not wrong. But damn, if finding anything you say reasonable doesn't just give me the chills. Now, now, don't be like that. Come, why not join me in the cabin for some authentic Chinese tea? You being considerate is even more unsettling. Hmm. Um, Master, do you see Lady A over there? I know, let's catch her. Huh. Gotcha! And I've been caught. What you doing here, Lady Avalon? Well, uh, I was wondering if I could come along with you. My contract says I'm free to do what I like once I reach my sales quota. And I thought it'd be more fun to let my staff handle the shops and food stalls and tag along with you guys. Eh, yeah, sure, we got plenty of room. As long as the director doesn't mind. Hmm? You're asking me. Hmm. You are a spirit, yes? Well, I suppose we can never have too much servant power. You're right, then it's settled. Thanks for having me, everyone. I promise I'll be helpful however I can. Who is that heroic spirit, anyway? It's Merlin from another dimension. Dante's! Why is this... I know I wasn't supposed to show up this summer, but... A strange sacred land built seemingly overnight in the Arctic Circle, and an enormous sun hanging overhead. I wonder, is the Holy Grail in the Ice Castle? Or in the Tower of Ice that seems to stretch all the way to the sun? I think I'll go find out. Hmm. Mysteriousness is mysteriousness is afoot. We know Dante's literally just popped out of our head because he, he lives in our dreams or something. He's our dream guardian. And we get another Jiangxi attack. I forgot to finish setting up all my supports last night. Because I was just so frustrated from everything. Good work, you've cleared the first area. I feel like sealed with flying clouds. Congratulations. I, Lady Avalon, everyone's little sister and Major Flowers, who hails from Avalon, offer my compliments. Now, let's see if the next area will go for you, well for you, too. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens. The servants of the flower park over, Madam Benny has opened a new yakisoba food stand. Emiya has opened a new crepe food stand that is proving extremely popular among female park female park visitors. Emiya, turn the harem pro tag seal off, man. We'll claim our stuff. With no more enemies spawning, flower parks visitors grow in numbers by the day. Okay. Georges and Maeve have photograph photographed napping polar bear cubs. Maeve was so taken that she could not only say too cute for the rest of the day. <laughs> I love the little news things. The back spear boys will be taking over management of Flower Park during Lady Avalon's absence. When asked for comment, Lord Vlad said, I hope to leave this garden more beautiful than I found it. Backspear boys. Them backspear boys. Alright, that looks to be all. We'll turn on profit alerts, and now we're going to do some of these. So, we want to do both of the flower park quests. The first one is a three star C three star currency node, so we will It's the Aurora Frappes, right? Yeah. Aurora Frappes. There we go. Right. I'm a little confused at the setup of all this. I'm guessing Ice Warriors from the shop, so and we want max limit break only with the craft essence. I click I always click that backwards. Show me all 
Um, looks like some people have definitely gotten Lady Avalon. We'll go ahead and bring Lady Avalon along, and the squad will do perfectly fine. It's just casters. And we're just doing this real quick to generate some points. Yeah, this should be relatively quick grinds. I normally don't like doing these kinds of grinds on stream, but again, last night, stream cra or the game crashed, rather, reflector crashed, so I couldn't continue the stream, so I couldn't finish that note, so I couldn't get these done last night, and then get even more done this morning, so that way I could have streamed better progress today, slash even better, better progress tomorrow. So, yeah. Long story short, that is why things are taken the way they're taken. But, again, Lambda should be more than capable of sweeping up all this. She's my strongest looping servant that I know how to use. And have all the resources to use, because technically I do have Melusine, but I do not have all the resources to use her. Medicinal Herb Gather is Geronimo's title. But yeah, see, that was the first free quest done in Lickety Split. In Lickety Split? That doesn't make sense. Also, we're getting a secondary drop here. I've noticed. Looks like bricks. So we're getting three drops. So these are eating and building. So those must be construction materials or something. Also, did we only get 450 points from that? Because good gracious, that is not a lot of points. I guess we should open up to the shop here. Yep, standard thing there. And all this stuff here. This stuff hail requires 200 for anything. Okay. Next one is called... Cast Experience Cleanup Flower Park. And it's a Lancer node, but we're still gonna just go with the same thing we're using. Uh, yeah, we'll use Caesars, Lady Avalon. I definitely need to finish that up with my sports. Definitely, definitely need to do that. Mm, I just saw that this is a little bit... Small, I can see the border very slightly there. But yeah. Even with Lancers, this should be easy. Easy. I probably should have changed my uh, CEs. Because the second node tends to be a silver currency node, and I've still got the bronze currency CEs on. So that's my fault. That is my fault. Um, was not paying attention, was rushing. Five out of ten would not rush again. So pay attention, me. Pay attention. Even if it does mean setting up multiple setups for the same, with the exact same build right now. Because, I mean, it's just so few clicks to loop with Lambda here. It's so efficient. And efficiency is key. That was a terrible scream, Anna. You make me feel bad about doing this. That made me feel more than a little bad for her just eviscerating Anna there. Shing. Okay, I do not have enough to unlock that. 
Uh, so now I gotta do this. So savers. This one might be a little bit more on a finicky side. Might is the key word, though. Because lambda be strong. And should be fine. Can I get a arts based support unit? Please and thank you. The magic words have been spoken. An ancient pact has been invoked. Come on. I guess I'll take you. All right, and let's go here and here. We've already got the setup. Guess I didn't fully clear things out. All right. So for this one, it is going to always be the five star currency as our top tier. So dupe. 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 But now we have to switch out servants. So Chloe be replaced with Zui. Jolter be replaced with Void. And Mash is going to be the big replacement with Gareth. That's going to drop that amount of capable. So we're going to have to swap out some of these for other. Um, This one. All right. So we got some balance. It should be fine. Let's make sure this is good. Yep. Still working on that Mr. Code. Oh, I felt my neck crackle real nice there. And that was my elbows. So, Sabres. This one might be a little bit more on the challenging side as far as getting things done. But it's still a low-level node, so I feel relatively confident that we will be fine. Relatively confident is more important than actual confidence sometimes. No, it's not. That, that's just me speaking out of my butt. <laughs> okay, not bad, not bad. Still doing okay. Good. We do have enough NP to get to the final bar. Or final NP here. I heart parades. Oh, that's sweet, Fran. And we have a perfect arts blitz to deal with this. Okay. It was close enough to not even needing the excess, but no kill like overkill. Uh, excuse me. Okay. But, um. I think we have enough points for the one quest over on the right here. Silver fruit. We do. We can make the flower area level 2. Execute this quest to renovate the attraction, increasing crowd size, the bonus multiplier for event points. Profits will accumulate faster. So currently it takes, I'm guessing, 30 hours to fully accumulate profits, which will be 8 million KP, which is not bad. So what will this increase that to? Also, the multiplier for crowd size is very nice. Because that'll mean more points. And more points is always good. So it's reduced to... 29 hours. One hour cut off. Uh, and I can't actually do that yet. So that means I guess I gotta run this one at least one more time. Because this will always be the best of the nodes. Alrighty. Um, Caesar again, and let's roll. So after this one, we should hopefully have enough points to do section two. I do wonder if 
So obviously we're going to be upgrading the various parks. I wonder if the other parks will give things other than um, QP. Or if it's only going to be QP. Because, I mean, the Bakin event did give resources. Speaking of which, I think I still have to upload that, don't I? Got a lot of upload backlog still. I haven't even uploaded um, Trom. I've been just distracted by so many other things. Gaming. It's a great summer for it. And this should be a game set match right here. Good. Goody, goody, gum drops. And we actually got it in one that time. Nice. Oh, I wonder what the next upgrade is going to cost, if we can even get it yet. I should check that. So this one also costs 20. That gives a fair bit, doesn't it? Alright, sure. Maybe I'm not being wise by investing all of this into the flower park, but it'll be fine, probably. Who doesn't like flowers? Reduce to 28 hours. More animals, more crowd size. Yep, 28 hour reduction. Okay, it's not bad. Can I purchase anything from the shop yet? No. And visitor points. We'll be Ice Warrior at 10k. Alright, so Waku Waku Eris Land. Awesome, so we're gonna see Eris next. Okay, you can collect by pressing that, I wasn't sure. Alright, so Eris Land. Section 2 to Heroes with Love. Alright, let's begin with a no battle part of Section 2. Again, lots of no battle. Lots and lots, but that's fine. It's summer, there shouldn't be fighting. Except for pool fights. A. I think I shall remain on the ship and set this next area out. Besides, one of us must stay behind to keep the director safe. That only makes me nervous. Want me to stay here and keep an eye on him, Doc? Yes, thank you, that would be helpful. You know, Master, I'm gonna sit this one out, too. You should be fine without me, especially since another servant's joined us. Yeah, okay. Fair. Alright, today makes, marks the second day of our Arctic Circle Singularity Expedition. Now go out there and conquer the second area. Will do, Gordy. All the pirate ships. We're here. Interesting. Wow, a whole other area. I've never seen any of you others before. Gosh, it's so different from mine. Feels like a traditional theme park. A kingdom, eh? <laughs> oh, don't mind me. I just find that word funny for some reason. There you guys are. Eris, with a sailor outfit. Valkyries asked me to wait here for you. I guess I'm technically the uh, ruler of this area. Manager, something like that. Eris, so you're the one in charge here. I have no idea what I'm doing, honestly. Karen was always better at this sort of kind of thing. I've never even thought about how you'd entertain people. <laughs> Eris. Uh, never mind, it's nothing. Anyway, you've heard what the deal is here, right? I was put in charge of running this area, but it's not going very well. The customers aren't just aren't enjoying this place. In fact, lots of them seem to hate it. If I were to put it in terms of spiciness levels, I'd say this predicament's about a two. Only a two? That doesn't sound too so bad. All right, Buck has mentioned that Eris's sense of taste is odd. Yikes! Double yikes! Yikes! Indeed, I think I can see this problem. Every day we see fewer customers than the day before. I'm doing the best I can, and I honestly think this place is a lot of fun. But, well, if you have any advice for me, I'd be really grateful. Please, I'm begging you. Don't worry, we've got this. It's actually why we're here anyway. 
Wasn't your area failing before we came along, though? But maybe you should keep these kinds of thoughts to yourself, Hilder. Incidentally, you can also think of me as your little sister from Paradise. Didn't you say you were Lord Merlin's little sister? And that basically makes me everyone's little sister. Huh? Little sister? I've already kind of got my hands full with my sort of little brother. Well, whatever. So what do you guys think I should do? Oh, we should take a look around here first, I think. You want to see things for yourselves? Okay, follow me. I'll show you around. Tour time! So this area is mostly made up of seaside attractions. Um, I think there's a famous theme park near Tokyo that does something similar. Anyway, here's the first attraction. Prepare to be blown away. I call it the T Titanic 8-Boat Leap. The goal is to make it back to the shore by jumping from deck to deck across eight sinking passenger liners. Since the ship's actually sink, you have to think fast, act fast, and be as light in your feet as Ushiwakamaru. Oh look, we've got a challenger. This is great, it's been forever since any visitors tried this attraction. It's gonna be Ushi, isn't it? Nope. Nope, it's Mandricardo! Here it goes. Go, Mandricar bro! Go! Aw, he failed. Poor man, Ricardo. Forget it. This is impossible. How the hell is anyone supposed to do this when the timing's so tight? I thought I might have a chance since I'm technically a rider, but no. I guess I got a little fool of myself thinking I could be a real hero. Maybe I should just give up and sink to the bottom like a sea slug. No, Mayor Ricardo, no! Your self-esteem! He's not coming back up. I wonder if... Alright. What do you mean by alright? Maybe he went to check on whether Mayor Ricardo is hurt. That must be it, oh, Dr. Asclepius. Hmm, seems like a pretty difficult attraction. What would you say the success rate is? Huh? I don't think I know what you mean. So, how many people have actually succeeded so far? One. Just one? I have it set up so that anyone who clears it gets their p p picture on the wall to celebrate their victory. My tongue got tied. People who love leaderboards and stuff like that, right? So I thought this would really appeal to people's competitive nature. Hm. Here, this is the picture of the only person to clear the attraction perfectly. Knew it. Ushi. Yeah, that tracks. C come on, there wouldn't be much point if it was too easy, right? Especially with all these heroes here to try. So I figured pegging the difficulty to Ushiwakamaru's skill level was the obvious choice. Sounds like she didn't consider the polar bear and seaward visitors. I don't think she even considered most rogue spirits. Hmm, okay, I understand what's going on with this attraction. Can we see the next one? Oh man, what's the next one gonna even be? This one is called Pilots of the Polarian. It's like a naval warfare sim only played on actual oceanic battlefield. Each player gets to choose which pirate faction they want to join, and each faction has different stats like firepower, speed, and so... Hold it! We have many objections to this attraction supposedly themed after us. Like, how many? How come my ship's stats are such garbage? Is it, is it about sync? These stats no, in w no way reflect what my royal fortune is actually capable of either. I object both to my ship's stats and you not having a Mechakure hairstyle. Forget the Mechakure crap, the rest is a real problem. I have so many questions about all the other ships. For instance, how come Drake's Golden Hind is the only one with such insane stats? How come it's so damn OP? Nobody's gonna want to pick anything other but the old hag's rust bucket. I hate to say this, but even I'd pick it since it's the only good choice on the list. Hm? Well, come on. That's because Sir Drake is special. I mean, she's just plain stronger and cooler than the rest of you, right? Uh, wow. Biased much? You're really letting your own preferences indulge your decision here way too much. I mean, okay, yes, that's part of it, but that's not all it is. Just look at the historical record. Did any of you have a privateer license? You didn't, right? How about personal ties to the Queen? Thought not. So it only makes sense that Sir Drake's skills and such in this game would reflect that. If anything, I'd say that makes it more realistic, not less. I see the problem now. You're so into this stuff, you can't, object you can't be objective about it, can you? If a competitive game has one faction or character that's obviously much stronger than the others, well, there's the reason people are turned off by it. Hmm, I think this helps explain why this attraction hasn't been doing very well. I mean, why would anyone play a game when the winners and losers are foregone conclusions? Very, very true. Hey, Lyric, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Hobby things, hobby things. And gotta love that Ares face. Here's the next attraction. It's our flagship attraction, the best one here by far. 
<laughs> I hope you're ready to have your minds blown. I give you the adventure of the Argo. What's that now? Right, I forgot one of the actual Argonauts was here. Now I'm really nervous. W well, go on, just take a look. Oh man, Aris is gonna be flustered. In the adventure of the Argo, players assume the role of one of the Argo's crew. And go on, well, they get to go on all kinds of adventures with the rest of the famous crew. Lyric. As much as I appreciate you coming out and showing your support, I have to say, your health comes first. So go to sleep, please. Lyric. Please go to sleep. But it's going well. It is going well. I finished the note that I was on last night, and I'm on section two now. Woo! But yeah, you should seriously go to sleep if you've been two days without any sleep. And it's not healthy. I can't even go a day without sleep, without being a zombie. Two hours of sleep is the least amount of sleep I've gone with, and I was miserable all day. I have no idea how people can sustain themselves on less. Coffee and she will. That might be an explanation. I don't care for coffee at all. You should still go to sleep, Lyric. Staying up this long is not good for your overall long-term health. But it's a boat right, eh, Ares? Exactly. It's simply it's simple enough that anyone can enjoy it, so I was sure it would be a huge hit. Uh, it uh, hasn't worked out that way, though. I see. This is just as empty and unpopular as the other attractions were. <laughs> Come on. You don't have to sound so damn happy about that. Uh, anyway, why don't you guys try it for yourselves? First, let me introduce you to the crew of the Argo. They'll be your guides on this adventure. Naturally, we'll start with Captain Jason. Go ahead, Captain. Voyager! Yay! Aw, that's adorable. I am Captain Jason. Oh man, Ares is totally letting her bias show through her whole theme park area. Which is kind of adorable. So the heroes with love. Alrighty. Form a party immediately before the battle begins. Sounds like a plan. Alright, as long as you promise... Because there is some rules in this stream, by the way. I didn't mention them before, but there is a rule. The main big rule is no self-deprecation in my stream. Second rule, no bullying others. You can only bully me. Got it? So no self-deprecation, and you can only bully me. Nobody else. Those are two of the big rules in the stream. That's not actually Jason, is it? Mm. She's puffing out her cheeks. No, no, it's not. I tried to hire the real Argonauts, but they all turned me down. So I was kind of forced to bring in some uh, substitutes. I might not. I may not be up to top. I know you're not self-deprecating. It's just something I forgot to mention last night. You know, no self-deprecation is allowed in my stream. These streams are meant to make people feel better. Either through my entertaining them or through my own suffering when I'm playing very hard video games. That is what the stream is for. It's for entertainment to brighten somebody's day, to make their frown possibly and hopefully turn upside down. So yeah, that's why there's also the no self-deprecating because if you self-deprecate then you're just feeling down about yourself and I don't like that, you know? You're fine, Voyager, but I'll always do what I can to help Aris if she's in trouble. Besides, we're talking about the great Captain Jason here. I go off in search of distant stars just like him. So I thought pretending to be him could be really educational. Oh, what a good kid. I feel bad for thinking the only thing you had in common was being blonde. You're great Captain Jason. Got anyone else here? Of course I do here. Behold the strongest of all heroes. Heracles. <laughs> oh, me playing one of the strongest heroes of all time. Nothing wrong with that. Might even land me some chicks. You know, now that I mention it, I do wonder why we have so few female customers. I wonder, Orion. I wonder. Heracles is a hero among heroes. He's known far and wide for his physique, so I thought we'd start there and figure out something for his, uh, persona later. What kind of physique is it you're expecting from a teddy bear? Well, I tried to get the human one, but he gave me the slip. Next up, the fleet-footed hunter, Analante. <laughs> Robin. Are you sure you shouldn't have found someone better for this? Queen of Sheba, or maybe Nikich? Um, no. I don't know about you, but I never really thought her fluffy ears were her main appeal. 
I haven't asked her where she even got those ears, so I can't be sure, but I'm guessing it wasn't until after the journey for the Golden Fleece. At any rate, Adelante is known for being a hunter who's really quick on her feet, which makes you the only good choice, I think. How do you figure? All we have in common is that we're both hunters. Wouldn't it be better if you at least got, I don't know, an actual woman instead? Probably. Next up, we have the Divine Twins, the Dioscuri, Castor, and Pollux. <laughs> Life is certainly full of surprises, isn't it, brother? <laughs> it would be quite dull if it wasn't, sister. <laughs> Are they really twins if they're the same person? At least we know that his heart is the real Dioscuri, right? Besides, I'm working with substitutes. Cut me a little slack. And finally, we have Asclepius. Hmm. Uh, not you. Her. <laughs> she does have surgery. She does have the surgery skill, so it makes sense. We're gonna dismem- No, we mean operate on you. Sir, it, the, the right the dialogue writes itself. I haven't seen- I haven't been part of this group for very long, but I, even I can't figure out what's going on here. Is that you bo It's that you both love to carve up your targets, isn't it? I gotcha. Don't give me that. I don't get my- I don't only get my hands dirty for surgery. I'm an interested in all types of conditions. That said, you do handle those scalpels very well. You could go far with a little more practice. Yay! Thanks, mister! Jack's future career. Surgeon. Be kind of terrifying. Anyway, that's what I've got so far. I have asked Canis if I asked if Canis would be interested, but they also gave me the slip, and I haven't been able to find a good substitute. Mm, okay, I see what's up now. This attraction is meant to send visitors on a fun, exciting adventure with the cast of Standards, right? We might be able to better help if we went on this adventure ourselves. Seeing everything in action might help us identify the problems. I agree. Me too. Well, um, for some reason, there is no one in line for the next voyage, so we could do that right now if you want. All right then, go ahead and experience everything my flagship attraction, The Adventures of the Argo, has to offer. Make me proud, everyone. Yes, ma'am, copy that. Yeah, okay, it's just my, I mean, operating time. It's operating time. Getting more eggs to ascend, Lady A. Good on you, good on you. Yeah, you're definitely gonna have to use the event to get the eggs. Because otherwise, I'm pretty sure those are locked very deep in the story stuff, so you will definitely need to use this event to grind for Lady A. But not even on the same book. Aw. Poor crew of the Argo. So, um... I've got Ortland now. I've got to take her. I'm compelled. She is the best of the Valks, so I must take the Valkyrie Waifu Ortland. I must. I am compelled. Is she AoE? I can't remember. Eh, it'll be fine. <laughs> Ryan on a little hand. Heracles, Asclepius, and Pollux. God hand fake. Guardian of the Sea Voyage, fake. Alrighty, so you are AoE, Ortland, you are. So first skill, SMG slash SAM66B. She's literally just got a gun for a skill. <laughs> oh yeah, Herc is pretty much a... Pretty much is, Herc is pretty much an instant win button in the early game. Quick by... Quick for three, arts for three, crit strength three times for three turns. Second skill, Valkyrie Group Combat B+. Increase attack and evade for all allies for three turns. MP gain for three turns for all Valkyrie allies. And Valkyrie Talk EX. Increase MP gauge, restore health, and a crit star battery. Okay. Well, let's see how much that is. So, presumably 30% at maximum. Um... And now we can do this, and that, and that, and that. And sure, why not? NP gain is always nice. Alright, let's see your skill here, Ortland.
Or NP, rather. <laughs> Literally calls in a strike team. With an orbital laser finisher? They do, but Ortland is the best of the Valks, so I'm biased. But literally calling in a strike team and an orbital laser as the finisher, that is glorious. Simply glorious. Mana Burst. Caledonian Hunt. Conquering of the Sea with Friends. Uh, how much of the evasions? The full turn? Full turn evasions. Uh, it hurts me to have to do this, but I have to take you out here, Jason. Oh. This event is great. Very good. Very good already. Alrighty. Let's just get a little bit more boosting to the damage values and a little bit more boosting. Why not? Have Castoria use her skill? Because it will have a small attack boost associated with it. And further proceed. Yep. The leveling up of the faculties definitely is going to help out, especially if it's more than just QP for the future faculties. I mean, even still, 8 million QP is very solid. Like, even if it is once a day, 8 million QP, pretty darn good. Alright, that was easy enough. Didn't get much in the way of mats, but it's fine. So what did you think? We had the Golden Fleece from Colchris, Bebrix's Boxer Emicus, the Clashic Rocks. That should give you a pretty good idea of the course. It was more fun than I thought it'd be, but... Well, the whole appeal of this attraction is how it feels like you're sailing on the Ariel yourself, right? So I think maybe... Hmm, I think you should try a little harder to make it feel more authentic. I think I have to agree. Everyone's skill names certainly fit their parts, but the actual skills were the same as usual, so... I see. It's a mess. Uh, coming from the actual Argonauts, that really stings. But I know you're right. Everyone's trying their best, but there's only so much they can do. Mm, I don't know about that. There were some parts I thought were pretty good. And Master Zeddy had fun too, remember? So I think you might be closer than you realize. Just a few small improvements could really turn this around. Y you think so? Like what? What do you think could be improved the most easily, Asclepius? Two more eggs. You can do it. I believe in you, Lyric. Get those two eggs and then go to sleep. Go to sleep so you can have your dreams of Asterius. Hm. I'm just a doctor, so I claim no knowledge of managing these kinds of attractions. But I will say that your casting choices don't make any sense. Huh? If your standings don't look the part, you need to find parts they are suited to. That alone will make the attraction feel a lot more like actually being on the Argo. Let's see, for example, you really think two people will buy, will buy those two as the day scurry? Don't make me laugh. Uncontrollable laughter can be pathologic too, you know? What, are you saying I'm a poor little sister? Hey, Mordred, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Happy things, happy things. Yes, exactly. If I had to pick a part for the two of you, it should be the brothers Idas and Lycaneth. Lin Lincius. That's a weird name pronunciation. But, uh, Lyric, sleep is something you need. Two days of no sleep makes you a little cuckoo. I imagine, at least. I've never gone that long. Ida's even used a sphere, so you'd fit that part much better. Oh? The Ephraim's the son of Apharius. But weren't they the Dioscuri's mortal enemies? Doesn't matter. They were Argonauts, so they won't be out of place here. Fine with me. To be honest, I don't really care who I'm playing. Exactly. No matter how many how we may appear on the outside, on the inside, we cannot wait to see what happens next. I suspect the same is true for all our martial arts siblings. Um, no, Mordred. Lyric here is new. She literally followed last night and has only been playing FGO for two weeks. So, only two weeks. 
Mordred always um, teases another person about looting Jack. Because Jack is considered a daughter to this other person. It's sort of an inside joke, essentially. Two people, yeah, two people. Indeed, it is our similarities that make us so eager to find out just how we measure up. I'm glad you guys are getting into character, but please don't actually fight each other to the death till after you finish this job. Next, you look like a bandit, so you might be better off playing Autoclit. Autolycus. Well, yeah, of course, noble sorts don't really see a difference between chivalrous thieves and right regular bandits, so that part would suit me a lot better. Autolycus, the son of Hermes and an expert thief. This is all sounding so much more realistic. You really were an Argonaut, huh? Oh man, I have so many questions about what the real Argonauts were like. Oh, but, but this isn't really the time, even so. Mary seems really conflicted. What about me? Got anyone who would be more popular with the ladies than Heracles? And you'd probably be okay as Melagar. Who's that again? He made a pass at Adelante even though he was a married man. Seems like the perfect part for you. The shade. That's your only reason. As for you, I think you'd make a good Admetus. Admetus. Who's that? Jason's cousin. They even had the same hair color. But <laughs> the most important thing about Admetus by far is that Zeus punished that stupid shitty sun god by making him act as his god servant. Isn't that great? You should track down that woolly bastard and make him serve you now. It'd really add to the authenticity. Don't feel bad about giving him the most humiliating task you can come up with. In fact, make sure you do that. Okay, if I see Paris, I'll ask him to help me with that. I guess I'm just not cut out to play Captain Jason. No, you're not. Voyager, you are honestly too innocent to be Jason. You might seem like just another cocky bastard who's all bark and no bite at first, but he was resourceful, analytic, decisive, decisive, a born leader. Everything you need to be a great captain. He really was a great captain, Jason was. In fact, it's probably the only reason that damn ship even went anywhere with all of our shortcomings. Not many people then or now could easily take his place. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm getting to hear real thoughts about Captain Jason from one of the real Argonauts. This is a dream come true. Aris, you've been at Caldea for how long? Have you just not mustered the courage to speak to any of the actual Argonauts in Caldea? That's if we just keep him talking, hmm? hmm? Isn't that... <clears throat> when did you get here, Jason? So, um, I wasn't teeth dropping or anything, I just happened to be passing by. Anyway, don't talk about me behind my back. If you want to say something nice about me, say it to my face. Not saying anything nice about you. Perhaps you're experiencing auditory hallucinations. Let me see your ears. Oh, right, of course. Ugh, this is so like you. I know I bailed earlier because it seemed like a pain in the ass, but I got so curious I had to come back and see how things were going. And I have to say, this is a sh in sh this is a shambles. Seeing something with the Argo's name in such a starry state, sorry ass state, is almost painful. I am. I'm sorry. You didn't give a roll for Jack. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up too much. It's not the Argo without me, and you can't help that. Uh, fine, I was just passing by, but I guess now I have no choice. Uh, then does that mean you're gonna help out, Jason? Yeah, yeah, but only because I feel like it, okay? Just acting on a whim here, nothing more. Damn it, even I'm not so heartless that I can stand by and do nothing after hearing all of that. Besides, I can't have people going around thinking this is all there was to the Argo. So now that's settled, let's turn this mess into a real adventure worthy of the Argo's name. Hey, you, don't just stand there. Get over here and help us out. Oh, very well. I suppose I can help in a supi supervisory role. I refused earlier because it would have been too embarrassing to do this sort of thing by myself. But I cannot, in good conscience, let Jason carry the ship's name on his own. That would only get people thinking about the Argo in an entirely different and unpleasant light. And besides... Hmm. We cannot stand idly by as children are forced into labor in our stead. <laughs> We weren't forced. We wanted to work here. I see. Then perhaps you would like to help in another way. They do say certain jobs are better for, suited for some others. Adelante, you don't pamper Jack again. So from now on, your job is to bring your friends here and enjoy yourselves as much as possible. Can you do that? We sure can. Okay, we'll be back with them real soon. Alright, now that I'm here, I'm going to make sure you all do this right. Got it? Yes, sir! Well, they're all in unison now. That was amazing. I think this attraction might just have a real shot now. Great job, Dr. Asclepius. Hmm? What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. 
Of course you did. Jason would have never shown up to help if you hadn't taken this so seriously. So I think you are definitely indirectly responsible for this development. Mm, let me put it in another way. It's like when a doctor's casual comment makes a patient feel better. Which then also helps with their symptoms, I think. I think there's an expression that goes something like, sickness and health start in the mind, right? Well, there you go. Okay, I can understand that. Though I don't care for how casual that approach to treatment is. Medicine needs to be clearly defined and its effects reproducible for it to advance. I'll have to hold a cons consultation with them and observe their progress so that I can... I don't think we have that kind of time. No matter how much it improves, no single attraction can be enough to turn this entire area around. Let's go take a look at the next attraction. Let's get some food first, it sounds like. And while we're at it, let's pay a visit to the food court, too. You can't do any good work on an empty stomach. Of course, follow me. I know I've been saying this kind of thing, but I'm proud of our food court's offerings. Really? But you never answered, Mordred. How be things? How be things? Okay, nothing new up there yet. Uh, another support node. We'll form our party immediately before the battle begins. 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 My tongue is still on fire. They say yeah, spiciness directly stimulates this tongue's pain receptors. Now, if that's true, there could be some new medicinal pro possibilities worth exploring there. <laughs> At any rate, milk and other dairy products should help drink up. I'm not usually one for eating food, but I don't think this menu was normal. Oh, I did get it that it was all very healthy, though. Right. The whole point of the food court was to offer delicious, nutritious food in generous portions. So you're gonna, so you're not rolling until Scotty's banner is out, or you've already rolled, but you're still waiting for Scotty. Congrats on fully ascending Lady A, Lyric. Congrats. You're waiting for Okita and Kama. I think you're thinking of the wrong summer here, Mordred. They were a few summers ago. Well, Kama was last summer, and then Okita, like, a summer or two before that. The whole point of the food court was to offer delicious, nutritious food in generous portions. I really didn't think there was anything wrong with it. Well, I guess now that you mention it, maybe I did lean a little too much to my own personal tastes. I mean, it was definitely yummy, but... But there was, like, zero variety. It looked like there was loads of things to choose from, but there was only one flavor. Flavor? Pain? I mean, just look at these choices. Mega spicy ice cream, death churros, lava waffles, non-concentrate, freshly squeezed habanero juice. Good lord. Oh, my tongue's on fire just thinking of that. Ah. Oh. Why would you do that to ice cream? True, I do get the menu selection as one of the reasons your area isn't more popular. You're kidding, right? This menu has tons of flavors to choose from. We got chip, chili peppers, habanero, wasabi. Well, now that we've brought in some time to help, I'm sure things will be fine. Sure, that moment where her eyes went all wide in the air when she saw how bad things were was a little disheartening. But I'm sure all that shock just means she'll do everything she can to turn this place around. Let me guess. Tamamo Cat. No, it's Benny! This this is horrific, Chirp. Why in the world did things get this bad? Food service is supposed to be about hospitality, not hostility. Hey, sometimes jokes are the deepest lore. It's up to you now, Madam Benny. Hm. Well, some people really love the old menu, just so you know. There was Miss... See, Karen, the Arjuna with a really bright divine aura. Oh, also a priest I've never seen around Caldea. <laughs> Rasputin! <laughs> Rasputin came here! <laughs> Why did Rasputin come up here? Oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. The enemy came here. Oh, that's great. Alright, enough of this. What about the next attraction? Alright, I'm really proud of this next one, so I don't think it needs any changes. Probably. Yeah, it's our most popular attraction by far. It even makes more money than the rest of the area combined. It's called the Nautilus's Seabed Expedition.
it very much can be rare to get a single servant on a joke roll. It happens, but it is rare. As you can see, this is a water attraction. People board the Nautilus and go on, well, a seabed expedition. In some ways, it's like the Argo attraction we just saw. But this one uses the enclosed species of a submarine to cast a special temporary spell. What it does is, project, it projects a specific avatar onto every participant that makes you really feel like you were there. You're there. That's right, everyone who participates in this attraction can experience what it's like to pilot the real Nautilus as Captain Nemo. Hmm. This feels kind of weird. Oh, hey, it's working on you too, Master. <laughs> I'm based Nemo. This is what it's like to be Nemo. Mm, I see, so it's a type of illusion. Though I have to say, this seems like it would require an awful lot of effort to run if you're not a part incubus like me. How does it work? Well, I can answer that. Yes, there you have it. It's because we original Nemo's are helping out. That's right. Hup. Now, what was I supposed to do next again? Adjust the oven temperature, slice the bread. Um, again, the realism is a big part of the appeal, so I hired the real Nemo's. The real Nemo's spared no expense, so we can project their images onto the participants, which gives them an incredibly realistic Nemo experience. Pretty amazing, right? And it's working too. Look how many customers we have here. It's definitely impressive, but. Uh, there's too much to do and no time to do it. And the next group's here already. Wait, I need more time. All right, itself is getting all out of whack. Quit using it so damn much. Give it a break, would ya? I can't. Even the express line is packed like crazy. It seems like you're working them pretty hard. You're not worried about the Nemo series might be a little, um, overworked? Uh, well, uh, maybe a little. I just didn't know how popular this attraction was going to be. All the visitors must have gathered here because the other attractions have so little to offer. I'll admit that one of the downsides of this system is the Nemo series have to be inside the attraction at all times to project the avatars, but I'm also making up for it by paying them special bonuses, so there's real definitely no illegal practices going on here. I made sure to factor in break times for them too, in theory. Yes, that's true, we're being fairly compensated for our work here. But the problem is, we all exist first and foremost to operate submarines. We can't just forget about that as aspect of ourselves, even if the submarine we're operating now is only part of an attraction. So we'd love to take a break, but our bodies are basically hardwired to keep moving. Incidentally, the captain is recovering in the infirmary right now after collapsing on the job. I don't know if he had some kind of worker or high or what, but he refused to stop. I had to tie him down to the bed to prevent him from crawling back to work. Well, that sounds like an interesting condition. You'll have to show me your infirmary later. Of course, Doctor. That's very kind of you. Shut the attraction down for a while. Sounds good. You think? No, you're right. I know that'd be best. But with all these customers constantly coming in, I won't be able to find a good time. So I can't put it off any longer. I'm the manager, so it's my job to make the tough calls here. Besides, the whole reason you're here is to improve things. Nothing's going to change if we stick with the status quo. Okay, everyone. After these next customers are done, we're going to shut down the attraction for a while. We'll say it's going undergoing maintenance. Okay... Fourth on the long journey ahead. Lyric, it'll be a long, 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 incredibly long journey, but you will get all your servants leveled up. Just remember, you gotta save them grails for your husbando. Okay, everyone, looks like those were the last customers still in line. I don't think I can go on anymore. Just a little more to go. Hmm? What's wrong? Is there a problem? Scotty. Ah, oh, your majesty. Lady Scotty. Oh, no. I'm not one of your last customers. These three are. Since I summoned them here to work for me, I felt it was only right to give them some time to relax. Go on, ladies. Enjoy yourselves. It's the other relics, aren't they? Yep, it's the other relics. Fair point. Fair point. Only a week and getting four max level servants is good timing. Thanks for having us. Three new Valkyries. This unit's name is Rinder. Gareth and I have met before. Short time no see, Eris. It's me, Rune. Valkyries usually get around by flying, so I've never seen what things are like under the sea. I'm very excited. Oh, my name is Urs. I'm Sol. It's nice to meet you all. Sol, interesting name. I'm Ash Carlite. So what are... What lovely names. I've memorized them already. Oh, and the rest of you don't need to worry about that. Inclu introducing yourselves. I already know your true names. Wait, does that mean they know what kind of servant power we're packing? 
Um, is there something on my face, Gira? Oh no, it's nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. So you're the Master Caldea, and these are some of the Caldea's heroic spirits. We weren't expecting to run into you here, but now that we have, let me just say this. We're not here to fight you. We just came here to rest and enjoy ourselves like Lady Scotty said. Besides, we don't even want to fight if we can help it all. We can't... We don't even want to fight if we can help it, right? So it seems Mash didn't say anything about hostiles approaching either. But no, I didn't. It's true. I'm detecting zero hostile intent in their magical energy signals. I guess that's true. Even in Caldea Base, you guys didn't seem hostile at all. Uh-huh. We're not here to fight anyone. Hmm. I'm glad to know none of us want to hurt each other. I believe so, yes. But it's more complicated than that. You'll find out when you get to the Lost Belts. Lyric. Come the Lost Belts, you will find out more. Arctic Summer World is supposed to be a summer paradise. I would never hurt anyone for its sake. However, it is clear that my various managers have their share of issues. Eris, I've entrusted this area to you, so I assume you know what that means. Should the new Valkyries find your area to be being run poorly, then it'll be my duty as Queen of the Singularity to take appropriate measures. Is that clear? What? So if I can't properly entertain the new Valkyries here, something bad is going to happen to me? Can you guys handle this? Hell yeah, we can. My head's really pounding, but we can manage one last go. I really don't want to overwork my staff, but I have to keep my patron happy. I had no idea being a manager was so hard. Hey, we're Nemo's now, too. If you need more help than that, than the Nemo series can manage right now, we can pitch in. Very well. What avatar I might be using matters not. My scalpel skills remain as sharp as ever. And it's been a long while since my last left. Since my last. I honestly don't know what that is. La Laparotomy. What is a laparotomy? A surgical incision to the abdominal cavity. Why are you cutting people's stomachs open, Asclepius? We're not doing that kind of fighting. It's weird seeing someone who looks like Baker holding a bread knife talking about cutting people open. I think, honestly, any good chef or anything would probably be really good at cutting people open. Okay, everyone, the Nautilus has reached point C3 and navigating the alluring seabed corridor without issue. <coughs> are you all right? Oh yes, I'm fine. No laryngeal damage resulting from shouting these announcements all day. Not here, nope. Uh, are you sure? Does that mean you've not been getting sufficient break time? Here, it's a cough drop made with special medicinal herbs. Thank you, that helped a little. Not at all, I'm totally fine. I see. Good to hear. Setting that aside, I really want to say the ocean floor is astonishingly, astonishingly beautiful, even via transmission. There's not a single thing here that does not belong. Impressive. That reminds me of the massive fjords we had in Scandinavia. Very pretty. Although, as theme park attractions go, it does feel a little one note. No, it's not here. Look, car to starboard. See, pretty cool, right? Oh, castle. Underwater castle, that's amazing. But there's a thrilling, chilling adventure waiting us inside. But I guess we can't go in the water here, huh? So will there be some other kind of event where we get to participate more directly? Now what do we do? Of course there is. Hard to port. Also, I'm noticing the Valkyries, my set of Valkyries, have not said anything here. Interesting that there's no interaction between the two sets of Valkyries. This is Dwelling of the Giant Octopus. What could the mysterious monsters be about to attack the Nautilus be? I mean, they're octopuses, right? You just said as much as in the name. Not so sure about that. Oh, here they come. Alright, I guess we have to do this then. Hey, Master Caldea, you don't mind if we handle this, right? Initiating simultaneous combat routine, synchronizing sensory input, mapping, vicinity. Rapid combat maneuvers, prepped and ready. Initiate battle. Hmm. So we're using the three Valks. Okay, that's fair. So, triple Valkyrie power. 
Oh, what's this? At attraction skills. Can it Super Nautilus scan it to decrease HP. Great Ram attack to single turn stun for a single and a sure hit to all allies. And invincibility to all allies. Um, okay. So that's why you need sure hit to deal with those ones. Um, we'll do the classic BAQ, I think. But let's start things off by getting Omni buffing going. Excuse me. Alright. Um, B. A. Q. Deleted. Deleted! Survived. Awesome, an arts chain is for the best. Awesomely awesome, we got that KO. Poor Rinder is getting just strangled by these things. Mm, BAQ again. It's a shame they're not going to be all buffed up for the NP, but it is what it is. Large Octopus. Um, yeah, let's decrease your HP here. <laughs> okay, that that was a little bit much as far as um an HP decrease. <laughs> that was very much a little much there, game. Just reduce the all to one. Oh, that was great. And of course, calling in the strike team, followed up by the orbital laser. Gotta love this NP. Okay, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad at all. And another battle quest for my party. And done. Okay, that was pretty fun. It certainly seems so, but even from such a distance, I could see you were enjoying yourselves. When I first saw the sale numbers for the area, I was concerned. But if this is any indication of the attraction's quality, I'm sure the numbers will reflect that soon. Keep up the good work. Your cat brought you a mouse. That is adorable. But also kind of scary. My cats never did that. They kind of, when we did have mice back in the day, they kind of just looked at it and just turned and walked the other way. Oh, but don't push yourselves too hard either, okay? If you need more magical energy, just ask. Alright, goodbye. Okay, you heard Lady Scotty. We won't forget what we saw this time, but make sure you improve your working environment. The staff should enjoy a fun attraction like this every bit as much as the customers. That's all from us. Until next time. Bye, Valx. Hmm? Wait, is that it, Iris? Urs? Aren't we going to just cook and eat the octopuses we fought? Come on, Rinder, let's go. Wait, what about the octopus? No octopus for you.
back pop. Oh, thank goodness we made it through that. I guess we're done helping with those avatars. I'm glad we got a bit of breath of a break from Scotty and the Valkyries. But this still doesn't solve the fundamental problem. With the improved Argo pulling more weight, two attractions just won't cut it. And this one being so run so tightly that it could all fall apart any mo. Oh. I think the name was our Frozen. Uh I'm what's hap Oh mind, it's this very bad. Bread must break bake bread. Hmm. Speech is bugged. I'm too late. I really ordered it. The, the partitions differentiating the series are temporarily scrambled. Captain. Oh man, I guess it's it's okay, guys. You can all take a break. Please take a break. Oh, we have to work downtime. This is the perfect time for for preventative maintenance. It's our job to keep this up running. It's fine, really. I mean, it's great that this attraction brings in so many customers, but it's not worth you guys sacrificing what makes you you. I went about this all wrong. I can see that now. I was so focused on making money and being popular that I didn't stop to think about the right, sustainable way to do things. This is my fault. Hm. Just recognizing the problem puts you well ahead of most managers. Most of them work their employees half to death without even noticing the damage they're doing. But it's not too late. You can still turn things around. You genuinely want to make things better, and you have a doctor here who can help. I mean, you can cure this. Of course I can. Those avatars provide, prove exceptionally useful thanks to them. I've already... I've already all but completed a, de a detailed examination. It enabled me to craft a restorative medicine specifically tuned for the Nemo series. Here. Isn't that a little big? I didn't have the time to make it more compact. Medicine will advance eventually, but for now you'll just have to deal with this. I don't think I'll be able to stop my body from trying to defend itself against something like that. Even if you were to order me not to resist, Master. Hold it, get back here. This sh shot should fix everything. Guaranteed. It may sting a bit, though. Sting? How about impale? No, thank you. I'll be fine. A good meal's all I need to get back to my old self. No, no. Take it from me. You don't want to get, go anywhere near Volcanic Parfait. Or anything in that food court. Never said I was going to get the Parfait. I'm sorry, Nemo, but I'm going to have to do whatever it takes to help you and the others, even if I have to use force. I'll help you, Asclepius. No, on second thought, let me give him the shot. It's my duty as manager. Very well. All right, let the treatment begin. Oh, we get to choose a Reese this time. Yeah, yeah, why not? We'll just use this party setup. It works. Okay. So we already ha we have Aris ourselves, but we do not know her full kit outside of her first skill. So second skill is Boundary on the Underworld Path, C. Inflict curse to all enemies, target focus, and decrease defense to a single enemy when damaged state, and increases MP gauge for yourself. So it gives you a target focus. Reaper A, increased death success rate, critical strength, and special attack against servants. That's not bad. The death success rate is probably not... Uh, yeah. Lyric has not slept in two days. So, sleepy is an understatement there, I think. Just a little bit of an understatement. That's what they said. She's parasailing for her MP. She literally just crashes a parasail, I think that's what it's called, into the enemy. That's honestly kind of hilarious. That did not sound like an injection. That sounded like something else. Hey, Andy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Happy things, happy things. Your cat is devouring the mouse like a snake. Man, cat must be hungry. You should feed it more. More drip. There, the medicine has been administered to all our patients. They should make a full recovery after some sleep. 
It sounded so gruesome while it was happening. Just do the event, man. You gotta do the event. But it should be okay, right? I mean, he is a doctor, right? I think it should be. So while I let the name was rest up, what should I do? I think I can get my numbers in the black if I keep the Argo and Nautilus attractions running smoothly. But I can't do that like I have been. Especially with the Nautilus, I've been putting way too much on them. Well, that's easy. Just run things differently. You got something in mind, Lady A? Of course I did. The whole reason you kept the entire crew of the Nautilus in the core of the attraction was so that you could project their avatars onto the participants, right? Mm -hmm. It to be as close as possible for the illusion to work. Right, so all you have to do is make some changes to that system. Fortunately, I'm pretty good with illusions. Just give me a bit of time and I'll have things running perfectly. Let's see, yeah, there we go. I should be able to rearrange things a little so that you only need one of the Nemo series there at a time. Then I'll let the others rotate in and out for breaks so they can stay rested. That'd be amazing, thank you. Don't worry about it if we can't make these sales quotas. The Caldeans, plus myself, won't be able to reach the next area. Suffice to say, improving your financial situation is part of your treatment plan. You therefore have no rights to refuse. So simply accept your prescription, follow its instructions to the letter, and wait with gratitude for your symptoms to improve. Take care. Do you want Nemo, Andy, or do you want the Nemo that is the vessel for the Grand Rider? Moses. Noah, my bad. Moses was... Yeah, it was Noah. Eh. Got a little bit of brain wire crossed there. Okay, my two main attractions are going well. And I decided to take your advice about the others in the food court, too. I'm still keeping things super spicy menu, but I've decided to add some other options as well. I think this should improve things a whole lot. Great. So, what are you guys going to do now? Gotta head back to our ship and go forwards. Right, there, and I believe we'll report to the director and set out for the next area. Well, hey, if it's not too much trouble, could I go with you? Sure, but why? I see now how far I have to go before I can call myself a good manager. So I'd like to take a look at the other areas and see what I can learn from them. Now I'm deviantly sure your cat has something. Possibly, Andy. Very possibly. No idea who the Summer Servants might be. There's a lot of speculation. The only thing we know for certain is that, for some reason, Lip will not get a Summer Form because, as much as Nasu is an advocate for it, her swimsuit is just too much for the internet. Plus, well, now that I have natural born leaders like Jason and Nemo helping out, she doesn't bite hard anymore. Definitely, more, honestly speaking, as someone who has had pet cats in the past and has lost them, take them and to be seen. It's better to get it checked out now before it can possibly become irreversible. So, honest, honest, honest here. Take your cat into a vet and get it checked out. It's better to make sure that they're not suffering than to hope that it's just something that will pass. Hmm? Sounds like you're in the same boat as me, then. Sounds good to me. Like they say, the more the merrier. Glad to have you aboard, Aris. You started to use him? He's good? He is. He is, Andy, but you never answered. How be things, how be things, Andy? How be things, how be things? One quartz. Good to hear. I want to secondly, seriously, I'm sorry. Is that five star embers? 45 hours for five star em for 35 five star embers. That is so good. This is by the name Tyrek no Kakakiya was the first to complete the newly adjusted Titanic 8 Boat Leap Attraction. Critics say the attraction gives Yoshi Soon types favorable treatment, but the area manager disagrees. Work homework? That's adulting. That is adulting. Amor, the goddess of love, has expressed strong dissatisfaction with the decision to suspend the food court super spicy menu. Makes sense, makes sense. 
Park visitors have reported hearing panicked shouts of Heracles, save me, Heracles, coming from the adventures of the Argo during peak hours. Yeah, I don't have those commands. With no more enemies spawning, Flower Park's visitors grow in number by the day. So nothing else new. Alright, so can I make new? No, so it's 20 bricks for new. Uh, no new commands. The only commands I have are to, for the Discord link and for following, or for my uh, friend code. 10,000 points. That might be rough to get, even if I do use a fruit or multiple to do things. I need to see what the farming is like. Um, what does the Iris give? Looks like the silver currency. So, silver, silver, um, Castoria, yeah, I know, I need to, like I said, there's plenty of stuff I need to work on as far as the streaming side of things goes. It's all a very slow and steady work in progress, but it is progress, I will be making progress. First things first, I want to become consistent with my streams. I don't want to just say I'm going to be streaming three times a week and then only actually stream two times a week, you know? Consistency first and then the other stuff. Um, we're four stars. You. You. Okay, we can get all of them. Awesome. And switch this for that. And there we go. Let's roll. I honestly have no idea. If it was updated, it might have been during the latest um, big festival event, but I I was too busy with the school at the time to even do that event, so I honestly don't know. Excuse me. Boop. Bop. And boop. Now he flies to a Tesla coil. Huh. It's very possible his NP got updated. Very, very possible. that button. And where's Asterius? Like I said, Uriel's got a thing for Asterius. But I think Lyric's asleep, so she can't hear that. Easy enough. Okay. What are our point count after that? I wasn't paying attention. Point count is 4270. I don't think we'll be able to do it. I think we might have to stop on day two and then over the course of the night, over the course of day, maybe two days, we'll do more. Um, this other one's a three star one, so switch around, switch around. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to finish off this node, and then I'm gonna have to call the stream because I don't wanna burn too many apples on this event. 
Hang on. Everything okay? Alright, I'm back. It was just a crock pot falling and shattering in the kitchen. Nobody was hurt, thankfully. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. But yeah, so I think, as I was saying, pretty much after this node, I am going to be calling stream just because... <sighs> just because it would make sense. I don't want to be farming too hard on this, and my voice is starting to get a little hoarse. <sighs> so yeah. Oh, delicious H2O. Oh, delicious H2O. Oh, do do do. Punching only made them more clingy. Er. Alright. Lambda. Finish the stance. That was easy enough. Actually, I guess it depends on how many points we get from this. Uh, only not even 2,000 points, yeah. Not that great. Hey, Zahak! Welcome to the stream just as I'm getting ready to wind things down. Oh, the timing, though. That timing, though. I'm literally about to be calling things, I just said I was. Um, just checking this. Okay, I can get Asclepius as Summer Wardrobe. Cool. So that is Asclepius' Summer Rescue unlocked. And yeah. So, tomorrow I may or may not be streaming. It kind of depends. I do have to get a punch biopsy done on my back tomorrow. And I really don't know what kind of mood, essentially, I'm going to be in after getting that done. Because, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to sit with my back up against a chair easily, which means I'll have to be sitting on my side. And sitting on my side, can, can sitting on your side for too long can really mess you up. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream tomorrow or not. It kind of all depends on what kind of condition I'm in. I'll find out when I find out. Possibly. Very possibly. But it's sort of like dead center of the back that it's being taken out from. So it would not be a very fun... Yeah. So yeah. So I'm I'm going to say tomorrow as a cautious maybe for stream. But if not, then I will be streaming on Friday. Even if the punch biopsy is going to take a few weeks to heal, it sounds like. I should have figured out a way to sit comfortably until then for now though i've been soul rack dragon i hope you've all enjoyed today's stream if you have leave me some feedback in whichever way you all so see fit if you want to check out more by me be sure to check out my channel here on twitch or youtube same name same games there's plenty of content for you all to enjoy but once again thank you all so much for coming out i hope you enjoyed have a fantastic evening everybody